All right, guys. Uh, here to. I'm gonna make a new PWM box. So this is my old one, the original one that I just took out. Uh, I bought a new one. This is a brush ESC from Hobby Wing, the, the 880. Uh, got a little servo tester here. I'm gonna use some control of speed. So this should this will be my main. This one will be my backup. And I also have the original trolling motor switch I'm going to be using as a third back, second backup. And I want to wire this with a foot pedal for on and off. Um, I've been watching some of the uh, kayakers that have the pedal drive. They could stay in a spot, you know, pretty easily. Just pedal a few times, wait for the current or wind to push down, pedal a few times, and they're back to their spot. So they keep in a good place. I'm gonna use the same tactic. Just turn it on a little bit and then turn it off. So I can fish hand free. Don't have to worry about you know moving the dial, you know, on, off, whatever. Just press the pedal. I know it's on. Boom. Let it go when I need to stop. Of course, gotta have some safety stuff. My kill switch, uh, be mounting it to my kayak. Have that. If I fall off, motor will turn off. Uh, got my H eight gauge wiring, and also I have a fifty amp breaker. I'm going to be putting it all into this box. This is just an ammo box uh, with an O-ring. So it's water resistant, not waterproof, but anyways, I think that'll do it. i um, been using some Corrosion X to help protect my electronics. Uh, I think I might do a test later, maybe a uh, I have a like a small PWM that I have. Maybe test how if it if you were to you know splash water into the PWM will it protect it? We'll see. Check out that video later. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. Put this together. See how it goes. All right.